Greetings, my friends. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here in Kaiserreich, in which we are playing as Canada. Now, we last time invaded France, and we did pretty darn well, but right now, this isn't where we left off, left off yesterday. So I decided to play a little bit off-screen, just so we can advance a little bit further. We still have minus political power. We're still not doing a focus, um, but honestly, not really much has changed. Uh, here are the casualties still. 128,000 from us. Swiss Indies, uh, obviously, is half of them capitulated because Venezuela went to war with us last time. Uh, 1.35 million versus 1.32, so we're pretty even in terms of casualties. Uh, we're all good for fighting Liberia because Germany went to war with them. And we're still fighting these guys down here, apparently, too. But uh, uh, it was one comment from yesterday said that, double check Africa, you might have got some colonies back, maybe? And that's just because Germany joined us in exchange for the colonies back, but I didn't realize Kenya was led by this guy. Kenya, are you, are you English or something? Maybe they're English. I don't know. Regardless, I mean, not much has really gone on here. I mean, obviously, the guys are, these guys are still attacking us. Um, we need manpower still, so this kind of sucks right now. Uh, actually, it still really, really, really sucks. But that's okay. We're, we're trying our best, and hopefully we can... We're just, I'm basically waiting at this point for the Russians to hopefully go to war with someone here, maybe. God, I hope Russia goes to war with someone. They're social democrats. The Invisible Navy, huh? Uh, we could really use it if... Russia decided to go to war with the Third International, which I hope they do, but we'll see what happens. Uh, last time we did lose a light tank division. Ooh, that is not good. Okay, they went to war with Finland, but their national populace. Wow, he's got a he's got a pipe. That's nice. That's kind of nice, man. Not gonna lie. Uh, please don't attack when we can't really afford it. Uh, you guys, honestly, try to stay right here because if we can make an encirclement right here, we could cut these guys off, and that would be very bueno. And we did lose that tank division, and we're... Oh, man, these Marines are not looking good. They are slowly pushing us out of this area here, which is really not good. Really, really, really not good. Ooh, not bad. And also, they invaded Iberia, too, down here, which is really, 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 really not good. So we're struggling. We're definitely struggling down here. Oh, my goodness. They actually encircled me. What the heck is going on? Um, you know what? Break them out this way. You should be able to take out these guys. You should be able to. I mean, at the very least... Hey, I told you to move up. What are you doing? Just don't waste time. Soldiers' lines are on the lives. You gotta go, go, go. Ooh, we sunk a sub. That's nice. Oh, wait. Uh, what are we... Hmm. Okay, cool. Oh, man, they're definitely advancing. Holy crap. Yeah, this is not good. Don't let them move. Do not let them move no matter what. Get in there, get in there. We gotta save these guys. Come on. Nice. Hey, okay then. Look at that. We cut these guys off. We don't really have the means to kill these guys off, but you know what? Great! They tried to encircle us, and we made a counter-encirclement. Oh, I love it. Alright, so you guys can hold off the attack, because we don't have the manpower for it. You guys hold on. Do you have any upgrades? Not really. Not really. So got some con. We've got plenty of fuel still, which is really nice, actually. Plenty of fuel. Very good. Uh, grab another thing of steel from the U.S. That'd be great. Uh, let's see. Please, somehow cut, kill these guys off. That would be so good if we could. So good. Just do not let them get out of there. Help out those divisions. Okay, they got this extra tank division in there. It's good. Uh, move over there, too. We cannot allow them to line up or link up again. Uh, help them out, help them out. Uh, destroy that division, actually. Take this one first, and let's come over here so we can destroy these divisions. That was actually really great. I thought we were going to get encircled and die over here, but I guess not. And I'm joining with my cat, Binky. Okay, Bink, you're on my bed. Okay, so now even if they try to link up, they won't be able to, which is awesome. You okay, Bink? Come on, all that matters is we destroy enemy divisions. Please, please, please. I'll help out right here if you can. We need you. We need you right here to help out. Destroy these god darn enemy divisions. Sink every single one of them. Well, I guess we can't really sink them. Well, I guess technically we could put them in the ground, but that's not the way I'm thinking that we should sink them. Good. Hopefully they are still attacking us to a degree. Oh god, these marines and tanks. They've been beaten up so harshly. It's not even funny, man. It's ridiculous. Alright, let's get rid of these guys. You guys, let's get rid of these guys here. And maybe Sally Forth over there. At least we're doing a little bit better now. Sardinian Parliament. Oh, Sardinia also capitulated, so. There is that. Sardinia did go bye bye. Uh, let's see. Yep, they're down here. Lose political power. Get more daily legitimacy. I don't think so. Uh, we could extract him, that's fine with me. I really can't afford to lose any more political power right now, so. Oh, come on. Yeah, those tanks and marines are not looking nice. Oof. 
Churchill's Iron Curtain Speech. Germany's defeat at the hands of the combined French and Russian army six months ago has sent shockwaves across the world and has become more apparent than the Second Valk Creek has changed the face of Europe for years to come. Well, we'll see what about that. The continent has been divided between the Third International and the Russian bloc, both of which wield enormous forces and have a bone to pick with the other side, and yet neither of them have chosen to strike first, leaving the continent split in twain. The Petrograd University in Russia has the honor of hosting Sir Winston Churchill, <clears throat> another British statesman, writer, and former First Lord of the Admiralty of Britain. Speaking to the attending students, Churchill first made sure to note the great sacrifices which wish the Russian nation has made during the Second Valkyrie, and show that the British Empire and Russia shall always be natural allies in this new world order. Well, we'll see about that. The politician described Europe as a continent divided between two fundamentally different forces, one of liberty and one of syndicalist terror, one of good and one of evil, and that of an iron curtain divides them. He expressed his dismay so much of Europe's heritage and famous cities now lie in the French sphere, and hope that Russia and the Commonwealth can unite against this revolutionary threat. Though Churchill was not the first to express this idea, the striking imagery of his speech has set a new checkpoint in history in Europe. And with it, the world has been divided into a frozen conflict, one of ideological strife rather than power balance. It may only be solved via subversion, arms race, and diplomacy, or a conflict far more destructive than the Second Valkyrie, a new age in world history. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, it's still pretty hot where, where, where we're at, so... We killed those divisions. That was beautiful. Holy cow, I can't believe we actually did that. They tried to encircle us, and we double back, and we're like, no. No. Let's get those divisions back on the line, though. Oh my goodness. And we put some naval bombers here. Oh my goodness, guys. You really let the SRI take control of all this area? Really? Come on, guys. We have the entire Entente. I know we're not the most powerful faction, but good lord, come on. Okay, what's going on? There's some serious lag here. And that is not ideal. Oh, okay, so there goes the Ottoman Empire, probably. Yep. What happened over here? That is very green. Oh, they're all the way down in... Oh. They're all the way down in Africa. Jesus. Let's finish our land auction with shock and awe. Yes, please. Ooh, another division. Don't mind if we do. They will be great on the front lines. And we do have some Sardinian division here as well. So. As long as they hold out and do a good job, that's all I care about. That's really all I care about. Okay, so that actually did hurt their forces quite a bit, it looks like. You can plan if you would like, but we'll see what happens. I don't think we'll get that, that far ahead of time here. But the 1941 Canadian elections. Once again, the people of the Dominion of Canada go to the polls to select their MPs in the House of Commons. The winner is the Liberals, Market Liberals, Social Conservatism. Oh boy, uh, I'm going to say for now the Social Conservatives have won, just because they are already even larger. So, I'm not sure that that really does anything. Oh wow, 43%, they, they definitely won. Poor Market Liberals. Poor Market Liberals. Cool, but we're going to still smash the hell out of these guys if we can. And circle two more divisions, please. Right, is this core French territory, or is this just normal, like... Oh, it's not even chlor. Oh my goodness, that's so bad. I know we should really deal with this, but I don't really want to. I'll be honest, I really don't want to deal with this. The SRI has been doing a really good job, unfortunately. Why do you put so many divisions down here? Why? America, where's your navy? We still own Gibraltar, for God's sakes. Ah. Alright, so here... Oh god, there's so many soldiers here for me to attack. I'm going to wait for these guys to get out, and then we're going to attack here. We just got to cut them off. That's all we have to do. Our Navy's doing actually pretty well, but still. Ooh, not good. Not ideal. There's still two divisions leaving. Come on, get these divisions to leave, leave, leave. Oh, oh boy. Why would you why would you do that, Portugal? Like seriously. Throw those soldiers' lives away? Why? Come on. Go. Immediately go. You can't let them rest. Go, 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 go. Marines, I know you're weak. I know you're weak, but you gotta move quick. We can encircle three enemy divisions, including a tank division. Go, 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 go. Oh, God, look at those tanks. Oh, my goodness, the tank division. Okay, don't die. Please don't die. We won, hopefully. All right, go ahead and begin an assault on this group here. We're slowly losing, but now they can't get supplies. So, good. Help them out, help them out. Help out right here, except for you tank division. You just hang out. Good. Keep the pressure up. Three divisions have been encircled. What's going on down here? Ooh, we lost an allied convoy. So be it. Yeah, I really need the Russians coming to the war. Hey, look at that. Beautiful. Even with no manpower, we can still do some very good stuff. Beautiful, my friends. Beautiful. All right, that's the case. Let's go reform the front line maybe a little bit. Maybe. Get all the way over there. See what you can do. Reform yourselves. We have some more losses. Another Portuguese convoy. God dang it. I should really help out down here, but I really don't want to. 
Oh, another convoy sunk. Cool. How's Liberia? Ah, uh, Liberia's going to fall, hopefully. And the Turok Confederation will die. Hey, at least we got a positive amount of political power now. That is different. <laughs> and also, we did have a... Uh, we won with India. That's nice. Russia and Finland ended their conflicts. Uh, escort efficiency, sure. Convoy sailing. We could do that. Is there anything else here? Resource efficiency. Uh, do we need more rubber? No, we don't. Hmm. Better artillery. Let's grab some better artillery. Cool. If we need even less fuel, let's grab a little bit more steel. Nice. Doing not too bad, actually, on res on making these. That's not too bad. Just manpower is a key thing here. Just manpower issues. Right, what's going on? Oh, we lost another convoy. Okay, then. What's going on over here? Can you guys please protect your fleets? Come on, man. Seriously? I mean, 1.67... Versus 1.68. Ah, their losses are increasing, which is nice to see, but... Oh, this is so bad. Hmm. We might be able to do something down here, maybe. If I can get over here, that'd be great. I just don't have the, the resources that we really need to do... Oh my goodness. You lost 13 destroyers in exchange for an improved cruiser hull. And you lost so many planes. I don't know if that's really worth it, guys. I really don't know if that's worth it. Just give me all your manpower, man. For now, that's pretty good. We could do better on there. Uh, you know what? It's close enough to time. Let's go and get some better field hospitals. We need them. Because we already have them on our divisions, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you guys are 40 combat with it, which is nice. Garrison's infantry template 1, which is okay. It's not great. Division template 2, not bad either. It's really not bad. Actually, these light tank divisions, they're actually 18 combat width, uh, armor, you can throw that on there if you really like, you don't need to lower that, oh, yes, so be it, so be it, hey, we have, they took the port, they can actually kill these guys off, great job guys, finally, Venezuela, wait, we ended, no, did they just peace out, did they just seriously peace out, okay, so they just took over this area, I guess it's a, kind of the cores, but not really, uh, I don't know, but okay then. I don't really care. Where's a good place to attack that we could probably win? Oh my goodness, there's a lot of guys up there. Devastators, we lost some Devastators. We lost two Destroyers. Okay, didn't they just go to war with each other? I'm pretty sure they did. A Destroyer Armada. Please tell me that these guys eventually want to go to war with Russia. Uh, excuse me, I want to see the focus tree. Please tell me they can go to war with Russia. The road to war. Extend the line. Mount Alsace Lorraine. Turn the Danube red. Ooh. Oh, they can't do that. That sucks, though. Hmm. Liberate Iberia. Raden Ludendorff. Peaceful revolution. They might do this stuff. They might manually just fight against other people. So we'll see what happens. Just, we're so weak. Hey, but... Hey, there's a thousand manpower. Must be a new month. Yep, a thousand new manpower. Cool. Oh my goodness. Oh, guys, you just lost so much. Why? Why? We could expand dockyards, but that really means nothing if we can't do anything with it. Uh, the IEDC, we're still kind of waiting. We could do some more visits. All hands on deck. For the love of God, we gotta do it all hands on deck. And from here on out, I'm actually gonna do a focus then. Alright. Let's see. Expand. We'll probably do this one. Expand training facilities. If Vanier's plan is going to work, we need to put out our best effort into expanding our training facilities and transforming our soldiers into a disciplined and premier fighting force. Yes, yes, yes. Guys, guys, stop attacking all willy-nilly. No, that's why I hate playing with the allies sometimes. They just don't know what they're doing. We could attack here. I'm going to wait for the division to move, and then we can maybe go in. Go. Take everyone you can with you. You should be able to win. There's only one division. Okay, not bad. Could be better. Could be much better, actually. Union for this. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, boy. The Pope arrives in Ireland. Okay, at least he's safe for now. See what happens, but, you know, at least he's safe. Come on, guys. Hopefully we're mobilizing a little bit. Oh, point four. That's okay. That's not bad. Come on. Oh, come on. Seriously. Can we not pierce them? Yes, we can. This is so incredibly annoying. We can't do, do almost anything here. 
Okay, we lost another tank division. God dang it. Ugh. Uh, that's so annoying. Rubber, we don't really need that yet. It's almost 42. Go ahead and do some more research speed for now. Alright, so we got the Marines here. You know what? We could probably push down here. You know what? We're going to do that. There's only a single militia division. If that's the case, we're going to come down there to them. Well, that's unfortunate. We lost the tank division. That's so bad. Oh, but they invaded down here. That's not bad, but... The, why would you invade there? No one can get to you. No one can literally get you, to you. Ooh, there goes Liberia, though. Uh, who? I think Germany wanted to Liberia, so we'll give it to the Germans. There you go. Congratulations, I guess, on your territory. It says we could do pretty well in an attack, but I don't trust that. Can we do well? Okay, you don't even have... Oops, my bad. Orders. Maybe that would help. <laughs> Maybe that would help a little bit, giving them actual orders. Yeah. Getting some planning bonus. That's nice. Oh, there's... I'm so weak, and they're so weak as well. Can you go into there? Maybe. That might be possible. Getting at least a little bit closer. If we can throw in the, throw in the other infantry divisions, that'd be great. Get the Marines over here and smash that infantry or the militia division. We could push them back, but pushing them back just solves nothing, except hurts them. How strong is the Commune of France? They don't have that much more manpower, but they still have more than us. We got better artillery, which is good, so we can hurt them harder. Germany's Asia is gone. That really, really sucks. Grab some better artillery. Let's go ahead and... Oh, and now we have... Oh, the Kingdom of Greece asks to join the Entente. The Greeks have sent us formal requests asking to be admitted into the Entente. Are they worth the possibility we might also get dragged into their struggles? Uh, actually, yeah, after the... Okay, then, with the peace deal that they did with the Russians? Holy crap, that looks really good. Yeah, we'll take, we'll gladly take Greece. Look at that. That's nice. Even though they should, probably shouldn't own that province, I don't really care. Um, yeah, heck yeah, of course. Great, another ally. And fuel refining, that's actually not too bad. Let's see, it's 42. We could probably get some better radar, 42-wise, though. Let's get some air stuff. That'd be good. That'd be very good. Great. Another ally, in which we could probably get them to give us some uh, money. Yeah, money. Invite them in. Immediately let them join. Oh, man. Oh, if we could only break through here. I, we, we're just too weak. I don't think we can. I'm going to go this direction. I wish we could help you guys out, but why would you even attack that way? Like That doesn't make any sense. Yes, they joined and then invested 25 political power. Not bad. Losses. Our losses are only going up because our allies are being stupid. That's why. Ugh. Terrible. Get down here first. Oh, we even called an Albania. Nice. Expand our training facilities. I'm waiting for these guys to get down here first. Because I really don't want to have to click on them again. Could you actually do that? So we can circle two more divisions. Better guns, better bullets, better soldiers. Our training plans don't get help if our equipment isn't improved. Once we get the best technology and our soldiers are trained in its use, they can remain confident that the Canadian Armed Forces rank among the best on the planet. Less supply consumption. I can't speak right now. Better supply consumption, which means less, and then better division recovery rate. Yes, please. Oh, if you could win here, please, 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 please. Smash it to bits before anyone else gets in here. Come on, come on, go, 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 go. Yes, yes. Oh, we got attacked. It's only one militia division helping out, though. We should do okay. Come on. Come on. Oh, we got him. We got him. Send this division this way, too, then. Help him out. You don't need to go in there. Destroy the, those two divisions. That's what we wanted. Nice. Something like that, maybe. Beautiful. That was great. Uh, you don't need to do that, guys. Yeah, seriously, don't waste lives. Just seriously, do not waste lives. Good hospitals? Good. Let's grab some better engineers. Uh, let's get some AR model 50, 1942 models. There you go. Oh, we actually sunk something. Enemy sub. Great. Well, well, Greece here and Albania here. That's not too bad for us, actually. We'll gladly accept anyone who wants to join us. That was not a bad move on our part. Let's let our, let our guys get organized. Did these guys up here die? They have not yet. I just don't think there's any way I can rescue them, though. These guys are too tough. Yes, I think they're too tough. Could you all attack Lille? Maybe? Finland is... Okay, finally gone, so they don't have to kill each other again. 
Okay, so that's good. And probably lost two naval bombers, that's what I thought. They're attacking over there, so we'll take Leal then. With two... I mean, these guys are all 40 combo with divisions. Like, don't get me wrong, they're pretty strong. But even then, sometimes it's like, hmm... Oh, I want to break over, but there's just no way I can. There's too many divisions around here. Ooh, that is not good. There's some serious lag, though. Oh, Russia's probably releasing Finland. But happy 1942, my friends. Okay, then. Uh, I'll be honest. I'm just going to give this... Mm, just... Just do that. Just I, I don't want to get involved with stuff like that, but just do that. If that's the case, we might actually continue to be able to be able to continue pushing if I could speak correctly. We got how many divisions? Quite a few. And with extra artillery and soft attack, we should do relatively okay, right? I mean we're smashing them. Nice. Like I said, I wanted at the beginning of this campaign, I want a great army, not a uh, huge army, but a pretty good one. Let's see. We get it. Uh, uh. You two versus these guys. Oh, no, no, no. Come down this way. Come on. You can't win there. Okay, then. Yeah, this army's looking extremely weak. Holy macaronis. Uh, if that's the case, get rid of these guys, then. You should easily be able to get those rid of those guys. Good. So we got Leal. I don't think we can attack there. That's just too strong. Move it over here. Ooh, Rhymes? Rhymes? If we can get in there, that'd be great. 3v3. But our guys are definitely thicker. Nice. Okay, cool. Yeah. How close is the enemy to capitulating? Not that close, but they just got a little bit closer. They're 81% of the way there. Honestly, once France falls, the rest of Europe should probably go with it. But we'll see what happens. Could we attack this position here? That is a good question. Yes, we can, apparently. Thank goodness we got more manpower. Oh, my goodness. Even though it still says zero, I can probably going to save it up for expanding conscription one more level. Someone said when uh, from a comment yesterday, when they played Canada, they took over the entire world or something. Like, okay, well, that's cool. Uh, right now, definitely struggling to do that. Not going to lie. Definitely struggling a little bit here. You guys are good here. You guys, I don't know why you're not getting any more, like, garrison support. Because I want you guys to go here. I want to take out that division, that militia division as well. That'd be good. We lost something. I don't even care at this point. Do we... Wait, do we not win here? Hold on. Maybe this wasn't the point we were attacking. Yeah, smash the living crap out of them. We can pierce each other, which I don't really care, which is actually pretty good, but... Slowly pushing them back further and further and further. That's fine with me. Yeah, those guys died up there. That was a good distraction, though. Are you guys actually attacking? Huh. Oh, they're attacking over there. What happened over here? We lost a uh, convoy, whatever. We just got the islands back. That's good. Allies, that's good. You have tried to invade Sicily, which is good as well, but I'd probably focus more on France right now, because we could probably capitulate them a little faster, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Better guns, better bullets. Yes, less supply consumption. Ooh, yes. More daily political power gain. Yes. The new Canadian Broadcasting Corporation has a been a great success. It reaches everywhere across the nation. Now there are proposals to use that to our advantage. The CBC's programming can be turned towards spreading propaganda and firing up Canadians for the cause. More political power, better recruitable population factor, and war support. Sign me up. Still won't even get one a day, but that's okay. Keep pushing them back in Throis. 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 Oh, the militias are gone. That's good. Over here, we're going to begin attacking, assaulting this area as well. Yeah, 40 combat with divisions. So nice. So nice. I could be encircling them, but whatever. Let these guys get a little more planning done. If they really want to defend up there, that's fine with me. They're now 82% of the way there towards capitulation, which is good. Guys, if you really want to assault here, how would you push through the southern mountains? Which actually sounds really terrible. <laughs> that sounds really terrible. We're going to attack here next, probably. Keep crushing them. Especially those tanks. They killed off our tanks. Well, we crushed them then. <gasps> manpower. Wow. We actually have manpower. Wow. Royal Address of the Entente. Eh. Oh, wow. They're really beating us up there. Yeah, but now with extra support, they can't really do anything. War support. Uh, extract some more guys, please. Yes, thank you. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, they actually beat us up. Wow. That is insane. You know, if you can't win there, attack there then. You hold. Give them hell, boys. I'll help them out. Yeah. Crush them. Absolutely crush them. You know what? If you're fast enough, Ethiopia declared war on those guys. 
but uh, yeah, that's fine. I don't really care. Yeah. Good luck trying to come back in here. I'm going to demolish your strength, son. If we can move fast enough, the royal heir, Princess Elizabeth, King Albert's eldest daughter and heir, is slowly becoming something of a celebrity in the Dominion of Canada. As she heads into her teenage years, already she's been touring the country, calling on the Canadian people to take heart and her support for various war charities has not gone without notice. While some has had cows, some has some have had cast doubted doubt on the king's ascension to the throne, lacking a male heir, it is now clear that they're being won over by the princess's simple charm. Oh, okay. That sounds nice. Good, good. We actually... Don't you dare leave. What the hell are you doing? You are not allowed to leave. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't care what you want. You cannot leave that position right there. You know what? If we can stretch out these lines just a tad bit more, that actually might be okay-ish in my book. So we're going to circle more guys. Uh, why did everyone cancel the non-aggression pact? What's going on? You guys have more strength? You kind of do, actually, now. But you can't beat up those, probably, those medium tanks. Nice. If anything, I'm going to actually throw you guys back up here. We should have Mountaineers, actually. That'd be so good if we had Mountaineers. Hey, look! Germany, you want Italy? Okay. They're doing better in Sicily. At least our allies are doing something while I'm focusing on... Uh, okay. Uh, focusing on France, which is not bad. Why do you reinforce so slow? Ah, shocking off. Better soft attack. Yes. Please. Get some more recon, too. Let's go and help out right here. They got some guys helping out. Yeah, crush them immediately. If you want, you might be able to sneak over to Dijon. Oh, yes, please. Let's grab some more defense and breakthrough. Yes, yes. A thousand times yes. What the hell? What the heck? Please do not get encircled. Please, the love of God, do not get encircled. Oh, they left this area open. Yeah, keep trying to attack me. See what happens. Hey, the Toro Confederation is gone, my friends. Cool. A point six eight a day. I'll take that. Expand our artillery power now. On the modern industrial battlefield, artillery is king. This has much improved extensively in the Great War, and the guns of the interwar are only getting larger and scarier by the minute. We must modernize our army, our artillery armaments, if we hope to stand against our foes. Absolutely. Very, very good. Now let's make sure we make better guns. Good. Oh God, we still need more steel. Oh. Terrible, I know. Oh, we couldn't get Dijon, that sucks, but that's okay. Just kind of let everything happen for now. We might just attack here and push this way to encircle those divisions. Uh, that actually might be a better idea. Go and do that. Okay, Wadai. Uh, Wadai, I think, is more French? I thought it was French. Yeah, there, there, it is. Good. Yeah. Two divisions. Oh, we can't even win there? God dang, that sucks. That really sucks. Are you guys not 40 combo with? Yeah, you're 40 combo with. Why do you suck so much? Why do you suck? We're going to be out of strength. Go ahead and keep pushing down south if we can. Help them out. Push them out. Oh, we actually lost a convoy. That's not good. We're an ally convoy, I guess. You should be able to win here. It's only a stupid light tank that we can't pierce. God dang it. Alright, stop attacking. Just defend for now. We lost? How the hell did we lose? Holy crap, what is going on? These marines suck. Holy crud. That is so bad. Yeah, you're, you're not going to win here, medium tanks. I don't care. You're not going to win. I swear to God, I'm going to defeat you here right now. I don't care who does it. We're going to destroy those medium tanks. God, I wish these allies would do something more. Good, yeah, keep attacking. Yeah, you lost, you pieces of garbage. Attack that way immediately. We got to sneak around, son. Oh, yes. Help the attack, help the attack. Destroy those mountaineers. Yes, that, that'll be good. Let's grab some of that, even though I don't think we're using tactical bombers, but whatever. Uh, we could do more of this. Well, we've become spy master, but I don't really care, to be honest with you. I really don't care. We're done mobilizing? No, we're not. Good. Good God, this is god-awful. This is so bad. I mean, I wish I could control my allies' as divisions, but you just can't. 
Anyone have manpower I can have, please? I, I guess we are, we're okay on manpower, but... Hmm. I mean, come on. Why do I have to do all this? I'm sending you back. They're looking very weak there. We can't afford to get in circle. Everyone go back. Go back. Go back. Alright, they want to attack. So be it. I'm done with these. I'm not playing around with these guys. Just kill them off. You know what? You said you could do well. Let's see what you can do. Yeah, that looks really bad. That looks horrendous. He lied to me. His intelligence was bad and false. Of course. Of course. This is so annoying. I swear to God. Like, come on. Russia, just go to war with these guys. They've got rhymes back. That's good. At least that's something positive out of this. Yeah, don't let them in. Don't let them in. Seriously? Seriously? Guys, wh where are the Entente Divisions? Why do you not care about France? We're the National French Soldiers. It's so dumb. So dumb. Why? Uh, I'll get some better engineers. We could use more entrenchment. Cool, but I think we're going to end the episode here. This is just what we've been doing this entire time. I'm going to play this a little bit more off screen just because this is so annoying. Just stagnating here. Slowly. Well, at least we got some manpower. But we're just slowly not getting too far. But regardless, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will have made some progress on the front. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.